Now, after purifying the DNA, we have to detect and quantify the DNA by OD measurement and by gel electrophoresis. Okay, so at first, to measure the DNA concentration and to check the purity of the DNA, we have to use absorbance measurement. That is OD at 260. We have to take absorbance at OD 280 nanometer. That is because DNA show highest absorbance, DNA show highest UV radiation absorbance at 260 nanometer. Okay, and higher the absorbance of the UV radiation proportional to the amount of DNA present. That means higher the absorbance will denote the higher amount of DNA present in that solution. Okay, and here a standardized value is present. That is 1 OD is equal to 50 microgram per ml DNA. Okay, and from this standardized value, we can we can get the value of DNA, we can measure the DNA concentration of our DNA solution. Okay, so suppose we get 1.6 OD of our DNA solution, purified DNA solution. Okay, so from here we can get the DNA concentration. It is 50 into 1.6 microgram per ml DNA. So this is our DNA concentration and in this way we can get the DNA concentration of our DNA solution. Okay, now we have to check the purity of the DNA and this is done by measuring the absorbance at 260 nanometer and absorbance at 280 nanometer and from this ratio we can get, we can check the purity of the DNA that is whether it is contaminated with RNA or protein or not. Okay, and if the ratio is present in 1.6 to 2 then we can say that the DNA is pure okay and if this ratio is less than 1.6 then we can say the protein or phenol contamination is present that is because proteins show highest absorbance at 280 nanometer okay so when the protein contamination is present this time this time the protein show higher absorbance at 280 nanometer so all over this ratio will be less okay and this ratio will be less than 1.6 so then we can conclude that the protein contamination is present with our dna purified dna okay and now when this ratio is greater than 2 then we can say that the rna contamination is present that is because that is because rna also show highest absorbance at 260 nanometer but RNA absorb more UV radiation than DNA so when the RNA contamination is present this time absorbance at 260 nanometer is higher and all over this ratio will be high and this all over this ratio when all over this ratio is greater than 2 then we can conclude that the RNA contamination is present okay so in this way we can check the purity of the DNA and now the gel electrophoresis this gel electrophoresis is used to to measure the presence of DNA in the purified DNA sample and to measure the quality of the purified DNA that is because that is uh, when we add the purified DNA in the agarose gel for agarose gel electrophoresis and then we get a DNA band and measuring this measuring the intensity of this DNA band we can say the quality of the purified DNA okay so in this way we can measure and detect and quantify the DNA purified DNA okay so this is the whole process of extraction and purification of DNA okay thank you for watching this video